So the Amazon Fire TV is one of the most popular streaming devices on the market right now. It not only lets you watch Amazon's own growing list of originals, but also lets you watch things from the likes of Netflix and HBO Go. But if you live outside of the US, then you might run into some difficulties. If you visit Netflix from certain regions, for instance, then you might get a screen like this one. And likewise, if you do manage to connect, you might find that the content available is very different depending on where you're based in the world. Fortunately, there is a way around this, and that's to use a VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network, and it's an incredibly flexible and increasingly important tool. I say important because VPNs have a ton of security benefits, which you can read about over at androidauthority.com. At the same time, though, a VPN can also be used to fake your location. You do this by routing your traffic through different servers located all around the world. And when you do this, you open up a ton of possibilities, including, of course, accessing that extra content from your Amazon Fire TV. So how do you go about doing this? Well, fortunately, it's very simple, and I'm going to show you in this video. And for the sake of example, I'm going to be using our top recommended VPN service, ExpressVPN. However, the same trick would work with any VPN software. So to get started, first you're gonna to need to download the ExpressVPN app for the Amazon Fire TV. To find it, just go to the magnifying glass in the top left of the screen and search for ExpressVPN. Select it, click download, and then it'll install. Then click open. The app will take you to an intro screen where you can choose to sign in or start a free trial. The free trial lasts a week and only lets you access the service on your Amazon Fire TV. But with a full subscription, you can actually use ExpressVPN on other devices like your smartphone or computer as well. If you visit expressvpn.com forward slash Android Authority, you can get three months free with a 12 month subscription. You can also find that link in the video description down below. Once you have your account, go ahead and sign in with your account email and password. You'll have to go through a couple of configuration windows, just click OK. Then you'll get a request to share analytics with the VPN service. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. Once you reach the app screen, normally you'd connect automatically to the smart location, and that's just a server that's located near to you. However, if we want to change our location, then we need to go to choose a location and pick a server that works for us. Once the button goes green, that's when we know we're connected. Now it's time for the moment of truth. Exit ExpressVPN, head over to your favorite streaming app, and then try and access content or see if you can get content that's normally restricted in your location. If you manage it, well then you're golden. Keep in mind that the best location for accessing content will change from time to time, but if you're having any problems, then you can access a member of ExpressVPN support team 24-7. They're very helpful and very charming. And there you go, guys. That's how you access locked content using a VPN. And if you like the looks of ExpressVPN, then remember, you can head over to the link in the description down below. That's expressvpn.com forward slash Android Authority in order to get access to a special deal. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting, guys. If you did, then please leave a like, please share it around, please comment down below and let us know what content you're going to be watching now that you can access it using your VPN. Hit the bell button if you want notifications of future videos and head over to androidauthority.com for we are your source for all things Android.